Hello folks, Andrew here, welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to tell you how I reached fame, glory and wealth. That didn't happen. I mean, last year I released a game on Steam. And it's not... Now, if you watch YouTube and if you follow indie developers, you'll probably watch a lot of them that actually release games, have a good success, but there are a lot of people that fail. And I'm one of those. I failed with my game and I put a lot of time on this game. Wasted time if you think if you think to the connection between time and money, because I could have been working at that time. But you know, it's experience and now I know what to do for a future game. But why did my game fail? Well, there are different points in this topic and I'll try to explain these points. First of all, advertisement. Well, I didn't have any kind of advertisement. I just put it in a few Discord servers. I put it uh, on Kickstarter as well. That probably gave me a little bit of push. And so on, HIO and my blog. YouTube, but the thing actually never get in the, you know, viral thing or anything like that. There were just a few people talking about my game. And you know that there are a few sites that make bundles of games uh, and no one of them actually cared about this game that I released. And this probably is the, the most important thing, because I watched a lot of games. I, I could say that they were worse than mine, but they did quite well. But mine didn't that well. So, this was the first thing. Advertisement. Bad advertisement or no advertisement at all. Before you even start publishing a game, you need to create a little bit of hype, a little bit of interest with people. Because if you're going to release and no one knows that your game is out, your game is not going to do that great. Consider that nowadays the market is pretty huge. If you want your product to be, to have a little success, just get in the advertising. Second point, why my game did bad? Well, the second point is related directly to the game. My game wasn't that great. And I watched a video, a gameplay video about it. And a dude made a gameplay video about my game, criticizing it. He was totally right. He got every point what was wrong. Now, uh, first thing of all, my game had uh, kind of vectorial art in it and this probably didn't help and second thing gameplay my gameplay was a mix between platformer puzzles and you know story driven thing a lot of dialogues tons of dialogues and this uh, interrupted the gameplay a lot of time it wasn't a great experience probably for people to uh, to play because they wanted to do the platforming thing maybe a little bit of puzzles, but no one actually understood what to do because uh, there was a lot of story, essentially, that was bad. And that's all about this point. Third thing was that my art didn't help in uh, performing well with platforming because the background and the front art wasn't that great. And if you don't know what I mean, probably I put it an image here so you can watch it, but basically the player didn't understand what was in the background and what was in the front ground so it it was a bad decision of me not uh, caring about these aspects of the game and that made a bad gameplay now uh, i'm kind of in the conclusion of this if you're going to do an, an heavily text-based game just think to it and maybe you need a good writer or just uh, improve your writing skills uh, second thing, if you want to put your game out, you need a lot of advertisement, you can do it without follow. The game is going to die, the project is going to die, and if you're investing a lot of money on this, please consider doing some advertisement, uh, contacting people uh, who might be interested in it, and why not, if you can find a publisher, go for it, even though they're going to take part of the money. but consider that that's going to be a good choice for you. And third thing, self-conviction. I mean, you shouldn't be self-convicted that your game is going to do well. This because self-conviction in this case, it's kind of blindness. I mean, you kind of refuse the reality of the market uh, of the things. 
if your game isn't a little bit innovating, isn't a bit interesting, it doesn't have good gameplay, um, it's not going to work. I mean, it's true that there is a lot of shit in the market, and some of those has some success, but most of them don't have success. And no one talks about them. No one talks about failing. Everyone knows that this game sucks, but no one talks about the, the game that sucks. But because there are too many games out there. And to have a chance to sell your product, you need to have a good product. So basically, is this is all. I mean, before even you start, think of the gameplay. Why not? Solid graphics, but don't think to solid graphics so, like something advanced or fancy. Just something that works. I mean, visually works. Now, this was all. This was kind of my experience with Steam, putting my game on Steam for a year and getting only my money back <laughs> after a year. And... Hopefully this video isn't too long and uh, don't get you unmotivated, but I want to, to tell this part of the story, the, the failing thing. I failed on making a game and, and I put a lot of time in this game and actually I didn't gain any money from this. Next project is going to be great, so please follow me on YouTube. So guys, <laughs> this was all. Uh, consider subscribing, leave a like or dislike, why not? Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about putting a game out, how to make a game, how to put a game, how to ad advertise a game, everything you're going to into with your games, what, how are your games doing, how are your projects doing, everything you want to tell me, please tell me, because this is a sharing knowledge and every indie development needs that. So see you in the next video. Keep making games!